Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make custom Excel graphs formatting in Microsoft Excel using easy and simple techniques. You can see that different colors show different, uh, has, a, has a different meaning. So we will learn in this video how to do this in really easy and simple way. So let's get started. Okay. So first of all, for this graph comes behind the data, okay? So obviously these points are not having these datas, A and B and these legends or these respective values. For example, for at any instance, let's say at uh, day zero, the value is something else, not particularly A, but if you want to show and call these points, you can call them in a different way. Also, if you want to change the color of each respective line, you can easily do in Microsoft Excel or in Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's say I have already made this graph and the graph is coming from here. Okay, so for example, this was my graph that I finally made. I will show you how I, it works. So this is data one, this is data two. These are the custom labels which I want. I will write on the top, which I which will mean that these are the custom mates which I want to add here and comes here like this and custom here. And uh, similarly, we'll come here, copy and paste here. Okay, so these are the data. And these are the X labels. These are the legends for uh, data one, and these are the legends for data two. Okay, so now how we are going to work with this one. So first of all, select this one, and then go to insert menu, select recommended charts, or simply line charts. You will see different graphs. You can select this one, which is a line graph and simple graph. I will move this one over here and move this one slightly here so that you can easily see that. Now, if you can see here in the graph, I will show you something. So let me just reduce the boundary here so that you can easily see how, how what is working, what is going on. So first of all, we are going to replace this axis. So once you click here, select, select data. And now it says edit this one or edit. This is data one, this is data two. Now these are the horizontal axis. I'm going to select edit. And then I will select this label, which is X label. And we'll automatically replace them over here. So this part is done. I will click OK. And now it's closed. Now the second thing that we need is we need the data markers. So once you select this line, you can see that there is the whole line selected. Once you uh, click on this one, this line will be selected. So go here. I'll just close this one and show you how it works. You double click this one. It will open like this. Now this shows a bar, it shows graphs. This shows uh, the line. You can edit something and this shows the colors and everything. Now notice that there are two things. One is a line here and one is a marker here. So for line, it will edit the line settings. For example, if you change the line settings from here into different colors, for example, right now it's automatic. If I select solid line and if I change this color, let's say I want this color to be red or I want this color to be black, it will automatically change to like that one. Now, if I want to change, if I want to change the marker option, I'm going to select here, click on marker options. Now, again, the marker has two options. One is fill fill for the marker and border for the marker as well. So now you can select built-in border. You am going to select this one. I'm going to choose the square. Now I can increase the size. You can see that it is increasing. Just keep the size to appropriate level. Let's say eight or nine and then go to fill option. I'm going to change this fill option from orange to black to keep it similar. Now, if you can see that this marker has an out outline which is in orange in color i'm going to zoom out again i'm going to select this one now you can see that i will go in the marker options again i will minimize this fill option you can see the border options it says automatic and orange line is selected just select no line and it will automatically go away similarly if you want to increase or decrease the thickness you can simply click here and notice that now i'm working in the line option i can increase it and i can decrease it now, what if I want to change into a dotted line? I can simply do that by clicking on the dotted line. I can also change the patterns by depending upon the gap between the lines and I can easily choose whatever line I want to choose. Let's say, for example, I want to keep a solid line for this one. Similarly, we are going to repeat the same steps for this one. We're going to select on the marker, marker options, built in. And this time we are going to select a triangle. Let's make this size eight, fill color. Let's say keep it blue and then borderline no borderline you can select no borderline over here now let's say we want to show this line in a dotted line we're going to select this one and select this one to show this line as a dotted line now i'm going to just delete this one because we don't need to have much more extra space okay so now what we want is that we want to highlight the increase part so for example 
if you set, see if you notice if i click on this one all of them are being selected and you can easily see them they are selected but if you click on one of them then it, you will see that this particular point is selected so now go in this option which is the fill in line once you click here and now show solid line okay now you go here and change its color to red now automatically it changes similarly select this one and change this color to red again and let me choose different color select this one change this color to red again remember once you select this one all the lines will be selected but once you click one more time it will select the particular point in that level okay now once you are ready go to the fill and line options now it's time to change the markers click on markers now solid fill change this color to red again similarly do the same for this one change this color to red and similarly change this color to red again now the last thing that we have to do is to add the labels and axis go here select axis titles and then add data labels once you select data labels you can see that these labels are labels are appearing so now the red one is a data one if you select this one you can see that data two is selected so red one is data two so now we are going to select this one double click here or just simply go here you will see this option which says label options click on the label options now you will have an option which shows values and something like this so first we have to do is we have to click this one or click this one make sure everything is selected then go here now you have a label option which says values from cell now select this one select the data range now all the data range will be selected and these values will be appearing now you can see that there are two values appearing just uncheck the value cell and it will just show the legends that you want similarly do that for a value from cells and select these cells from the here click ok and now everything is done select value uncheck and everything is done now at some points the labels are uh, crossing each other so for that point what you can do is once you click them or everything is selected click them one more time and you can easily move them down similarly for this one click them twice and go down not twice like a double click just simple gentle click and you can easily replace them do them simple click or move the B this one time down one click once and then click again and then you can easily move them down similarly let's see the black line represents data 2 the data 2 is B so we are going to move the B again downstairs not downstairs but a little bit more down then move B again again B move B again similarly move B again and now we are going to copy uh, the legend so that I don't have to type again so just copy this one select here paste okay the size is a little bit bigger it says now uh, let's make the size a little bit smaller go to home select this one and it will reduce the size 16 and now this time uh, this is also storage so we are going to change the storage from here to this one go to home make it bold make it times new roman mm -hmm. select all of this and go to home option i'm just going to pin this here so that it doesn't move again and again select times new roman for everything increase the size okay now one thing that you want to do is that you want to move this uh, legend from here to here reduce the size so that it appears in one uh, column reduce the length reduce the size a little bit so that it's more appropriate increase the length from here so that it is more uh, bigger in size and now you can do like this and similarly like this and if you want you can increase the size for the whole uh, table uh, manually uh, by your own self now you can re remove the size like this now just remove these lines so we don't need these ones now double click here you can see that in order to make it easier for you, you can see that here are the option which says access size and properties so if you click here or sorry go here access options if you click on access options you can uh, see there's an option called tick marks in tick mark it has an option says major or inside one i'm going to select the inside tick marks similarly we we'll do the same thing with this one tick marks and inside okay now we have these tick marks but in different color so we select this one go to format options change outline to black similarly black here and black here everything is done make size a little bit smaller from here increase the size from here a little bit and then you have your gra graph all done so this is the one way to do that now if you want to use this graph copy this graph go to microsoft powerpoint make a new slide delete all these and paste it as a picture if you want if you don't want it as a picture you can choose other options for example if you want to embed this in microsoft powerpoint just paste this paste it directly and it will come something like this hold the shift button so that the size it doesn't change and keeps the proportion 
Now what you can do is increase the size and everything will be managed automatically. So now you see this is a graph. Now if you uh, want to reduce the size for this one because bigger legend doesn't look too good and you better reduce the font so that they are more uh, they have a better perspective in respect to the whole graph. So I hope you guys like this video and watch my previous video. Do watch them if you have any comments, please leave your comments down below. I'm going to be making new videos on Origin Pro. Uh, they are in the series. I'm just a little bit busy, but I will take out some time to make some videos for you guys so that they can be more helpful for you. I hope you guys like this video. If you watched my previous video, do watch them. And if you have any comments, please leave your comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Till then, take care. I love this.